Hello, thank you for joining me for another beer review then. Today we've got another beer from Anspach and Hob Day. Now I've had this can a while and this is a pail of two halves. And it's coming in at 5% ABV. Um, it's classed as an English pale ale. Um, so the malts then in this are extra pale Maris Otter, flaked oats and dextrin. Uh, the hops are Enigma and Vic Secret. And the yeast is WHC saturated. Uh, degrees plateau 11.6. Uh, four 40 mil can then. Um, this is batch number two. Um, and I assume of this beer. And uh, this is valid until the 26th of April of 2023. So I've given this very kindly by Anspach and Hob Day. Um, a few months back now at uh, Brew London 2022. So... I think it's the last beer of that whole, um, what breweries have very kindly given me over over that little festival. Um, so yeah, really do appreciate it. Thank you very much. Um, there's a little bit here um, about this beer. Um, a pale of two halves is a celebration of the uh, uh, fantastic rusty bucket in Eltham. Brewed in collaboration with our friends at Brick Brewery and Villages. So two London breweries there. Don't think I've actually reviewed anything from Villages. I've, I've had a few beers from them. They've been very good, and obviously I've had some beers from Brick, very good, especially their um, their kettle sales. But I haven't had anything from them for a while. But yeah. Um, anyway, back to this beer then. Let's crack this open. I don't want to go into any tasting notes or anything like that. We'll we'll uh, we'll I, I prefer just to go in, in without knowing, and then we'll we'll go through that after. So let's crack this open then. Hopefully it doesn't go everywhere. No, we're all right. I couldn't find my own spatch and hob day glass. It's, it's around somewhere. I'll probably find it after the review. You know what it's like. So I've just gone for a, a um, Nognio glass, really. More of a kind of a lager glass, but it'll do for now. I haven't got around to washing up my glasses. I'll do that by hand as well. I'll leave it like that for now. Actually looking a clean glass for a change. Um, so yeah, beer in a glass, nice hazy, juicy looking beer, um, three quarters of a white head there, quite creamy, tight back bubbles, looks looks really decent in the glass. Um, there's some bigger bubbles floating up through that, you can't really see it with the light, but anyway, get a nose on this one then. So... Quite um, a, a nice, almost like it reminds me of a lemon, lemon zest. Slight pine edge almost, with a um, almost like a lemon meringue kind of whiff coming from that. But it's definitely more of a, there is a slight kind of grain note coming in there. But I don't know if there's oats in it, didn't say oats, did it? No, flaked oats, there we go. Smells really nice. Let's give it a try. Cheers. Very clean. Very zippy. Not rainbow zippy. Yeah, very light. Not very heavy, quite a low medium body almost. Definitely getting a pine edge for sure. Um, almost like a, a slight lemon drop edge. It's not as intense as lemon drop, but definitely more more lemon juice, lemon rind, slightly dry. Yeah, a little bit of zest as I was getting on the aroma. Quite a nice soft mouthfeel. Leaving a nice lacing on the glass, no hint at the ABV. Really nice drop, to be honest. I do like the um, what they've done there with the uh, the pigeon on the uh, on the bucket with the hat on and stuff like that. And it's got the brick brewery there as well. And then villages underneath. Pretty cool. Nice way of um, 
setting up uh, a little bit of artwork there, which is really cool, really good. So what does it say then about the beer? The pale of two halves, uh, we've done all that bit up to, yeah, so. This half uh, employs an expressive fruit forward yeast, which elevates to the intense aromas of passion fruit, ripe mango and pine. I'm not really getting mango. Passion fruit a bit of, yeah, I'm getting more of a grapefruit edge to it than any of those other, other uh, fruits. Straight up grapefruit. There's a little bit of a, not puckering, but do you know what I mean? It's, there's a little bit of that with, it's, you know, that coming to think of it is, is probably the, the dominant thing as well as um, uh, lemon, lemon juice. It's kind of that sort of slight acidity, acidity to it. Um, a simple malt base including large por portions of oats, which definitely gives it that kind of nice um, soft, um, clean mouthfeel, I think, um, but not too heavy a body either. So um, results in a soft mouthfeel. You know, soft mouthfeel allows for the hops to come to the fore. Gentle bitterness keeps this beer balanced, focused and satisfyingly drinkable. That's pretty much it, really. Um, it's absolutely spot on. Um, it's quite well rounded, as I've said. Um, it's definitely balanced for sure, but it's not overly. There is a little bit of bitterness there, but then there's also a little, a little bit of, a, as I say, from that kind of grapefruit, stroke lemon sort of vibe. Excuse me. Overall, that is a decent, decent beer. So, if you've had this one before, uh, do let us know. Um, and Spatch and Hobday is a pile of two halves. There's the pale. I like, I like nice play on words there. Um, any other information? So these guys are out. I didn't say where they were. So they're out of. Um, they've actually got a, a, a tap room in Bermondsey, of course. Um, and they they are in the process of developing their tap room in Croydon, where they're based. So I don't know how far along the line that that has gone. Um, I'm sure. You can find out on social media about that. But anyway, either way, all their social medias will be down below, as well as uh, Villages and uh, The Brick Brewery. I always put uh, collaborating breweries uh, details down there as well. But as for this beer, yeah, really nice, easy drinking. Um, just a nice start off to, uh, you know, your little session, whatever you're doing. So, as I say, let me know if you've had this one before down below. Thank you for watching. Check out the playlist down below as well. And I'll see you on the next review. Cheers.